Well, in amongst all the noise down here under one of the most impressive awnings in the heart of all of us is the mark of Corvette, a mark that has been around for a long time, 70 years in fact, and I'm pleased to say that Phil Zach and Todd Christensen are here with me now, uh, and they're going to tell us all about it. Todd, what a display of cars we've got here. Just tell us what's going on at the Rolex this year. Yeah, I tell you what, we are so honored and excited to be here for a Corvette 70th uh, anniversary, and what a display of cars. I mean, GM's brought some of our cars out, our, our serves, the Chevrolet engineering res uh, research vehicles, really the cars that started the C8 back in the 60s. But think of all the cars that the private owners brought out. We've got almost every vintage of uh, historic race car. Two of the five Grand Sports, you don't ever see those together. Three of the 1960 Corvettes that raced at Le Mans. I mean, what an amazing uh, uh, group of vehicles here. It's incredible. That's just some of them. These are the ones that you bought. We've had two or three just, you know, thunder past us in the background a moment or two ago. People are racing them out on track. Uh, but, Phil, I'll come to you. 1953 in New York at Motorama. The company had a, an idea for a little car that they were going to bring to the market. And, and, you know, what were they thinking about back then? What was it all about? The Chevrolet getting into performance driving, something attainable for the customer. And you can see what that has grown into. Uh, at that point, too, it was new technology. It was... Uh, uh, fiberglass bodies, so really just driving technology in Corvette. And as we see right through here, the the uh, the aura and the, the the brand has just kept growing. Yeah, it really has. Let's take a little walk and a stroll because we've got to end up, by the way, at a car which is just up the way here. The new E-Ray is what we're going to talk about. But let's just walk because we're coming up in a moment as well, Todd. Um, past some of these vintage ones that are beautiful and shiny, we're oh, going to yeah. see one that isn't beautiful and shiny that was racing for 24 hours not that long ago. Yeah, I tell you. Uh, this is the this is the car that won our class at uh, 24 Hours of Le Mans this year. So Ben Keating and everybody at Corvette Racing uh, raced this thing for 24 hours, and uh, we just we kept it. So this is what a car looks like after 24 hours of continuous uh, competition. So excited to have that car here for everybody to see it in the flesh. I absolutely love what you've done with this as well, because you said to me, this has come straight off the track after 24 hours, but then you've actually spl sprayed a clear coat on it to keep it looking as it does. That's right. I don't want anybody polishing this thing up and making it look pretty again. This uh, needs to be preserved in, in its uh, historical look. Well, look, let's, let's just keep walking because just over behind where our cameraman is, there is a car that's polished up and looking pretty. And Phil, I'm going to ask you about this. Step forwards. We've got the uh, all new 24 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray. Look at this lady here. She's absolutely spellbound by it. How about this? <laughs> So, it, number one, you start with the race car. The, yeah. the new C8, basically the proportions have shifted. The motor is over the rear wheels, which gives you the traction that you need uh, for launching. And all that was developed with the race team on the track. But what you're looking at right now, this is our 6.2 liter V8, and it's coupled with electric motors up front for all wheel drive, which is the first time you get that in Corvette. But uh, the, the car is stunning, it's a fabulous, the, the speed is tremendous, and it also it rides phenomenal. It's a fabulous car for the track or also for the road. But Phil, I've got to just give you and your team some credit here because you're global design director, is that right? Or global head of design? Uh, that's for Chevrolet, that is correct. Well this, I mean, but the designers behind this have done an amazing job. This is a beautiful looking car. Modern technology, but it's an instant classic as far as I'm concerned. No, we appreciate that. The team did a phenomenal job on it. and. Part of the engine moving to the rear, our proportion shift. The occupant goes forward, really gives an, exo an exotic look and feel. And then when you get into the materials on the inside, uh, the leathers, the suede, we've really upped the game on what we offer for Corvette and interior components. Carbon fiber, you can pretty much get it all. Yeah, this is what I want to see. If we could just spin around and have a look inside, the, uh, the tan leather and black interior on this is great. Todd, I'll come back to you because for the guys that love Corvette and are gonna you know, get involved in a car like this, you've picked a great one to bring and put on display. Yeah, well, l listen, leave it up to Phil and, uh, and the team to give us some beautiful colors. But yeah, this uh, beautiful gray with tan interior is something that you probably wouldn't expect to look great, but it's pretty striking. And also what we got here then is a 6.2 liter small block V8 engine, but helping that then, electrification. There's another 150 horsepower coming from battery and a motor. Yeah, there's 163 horsepower in a electric motor that powers the front wheels. Yeah. So you add that to the 495 in the back, and it's a pretty potent uh, setup for sure. I think I read zero to 60 in just, uh, what, two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds. This will be the fastest zero to 60 of any Corvette. It's phenomenal. But then alongside that as well, driver assistance technology to make this a daily driver. It's not just a race car. Well, for sure. I mean, this is really... Uh, could be a daily driver, a touring car, perfect touring car. So having all the driver assist and safety features are important to our customer and it's important uh, for this car. 
Phil, let's spin you back around this way so we can put it behind us and then we get a nice view of it. But just to talk about the event as well, Phil, because you're a design guy. And when we stand here and look at all of these cars in front of us here now, just phenomenal, isn't it? Beautiful looking cars and they all fit the era that they were, you know, made in. Yeah, no, it's phenomenal. When you go up, you mentioned the 53. Yeah. You start with the 53 C1 and you walk all the way back up here to C8. You can see the lineage of Corvette. They're always bold. They're, they're pushing technology. Uh, there's the, the sound. It's a visual experience as well. So that's all wrapped up, and we think the C8 here is really the epitome of kind of where Corvette uh, is, and we're going to really move this brand forward. Yeah, you are. And what's also great is as well with events like the Rolex here, the enthusiasts are coming. And like I said, we've got all these ones that you've bought, but there's loads of others that other people have bought. And looking after them and maintaining them and keeping them running on the track, that's what this is all about, isn't it? Oh, exactly. And we've got a huge customer base uh, that just loves Corvette. They come to these events all the time. And really, we're just with the race car behind us and with the production car here, there's a great tie into those two. Yeah, there really is. Well, listen, uh, Johnny, I think we're kind of wrapped up here for a moment or two. Todd, thank you ever so much for talking to us. There's a big crowd around the E-Ray and Phil, thank you ever so much. Uh, Johnny, what do you make of that? The history of Corvette all under one awning and the future, well, it's right behind me.